The term refers to an attack carried out under false pretenses, with the intent of whipping up anger toward an enemy or establishing a pretext for retaliation. The latest use of the term came after 58 people were killed in Las Vegas. Infowars host Alex Jones laid out a complex, unsupported by a modicum of evidence theory that the attack was perpetrated by the U.S. government. His pet theory, dating back at least as far as the mass killings in Orlando and Newtown, is that the United States government staged the attacks to justify new restrictions on gun times. Jones has suggested that the Sandy Hook school shooting in Newtown, Connecticut, wasn't just a false flag attack, but a staged event with child actors portraying the victims. It is not just shootings that are labeled false flags. So, called 9-11 truthers believe that the 2001 attacks on the World Trade Center and Pentagon were inside jobs by the U.S. government to justify war in the Middle East. The 2013 Boston Marathon bombing inspired theories that tied together Russian oligarchs, staged blood and then First Lady Michelle Obama, with Massachusetts Governor Deval Patrick being asked at a press conference if the attack was a false flag. For intelligence historians, it usually refers to how intelligence services recruit people under false auspices, said NYU historian and author Timothy Naftali. In other words, an agent thinks he or she is being recruited to help an NGO non-government organization, the United Nations or Country X, when, in fact, the operation is managed by and for the benefit of Country Y. Joseph Usinski, a professor of political science at Miami who has written extensively about conspiracy theories, says that false flag conspiracy theories are nothing new in the United States. One such holds that the 1898 explosion of the USS Maine in the harbor of Havana, Cuba which provided the pretext for the Spanish-American War was not an accident but instead deliberate sabotage to inflame tensions between the United States and Spain. Then there was Operation Northwoods, a proposed plan by the U.S. Department of Defense to stage attacks on American military or civilian targets and pin the blame on the Cuban government thus allowing the U.S. military to engage with Fidel Castro. While the Kennedy administration vetoed the plan, in audio available at the University of Virginia's Miller Center you can hear a 1962 conversation between President John F. Kennedy and his brother, Attorney General Robert F. Kennedy, where they discuss potential options to trigger military engagement with Cuba. Well, I want to say, can I say that one other thing is whether we should also think of whether there is some other way we can get involved in this, through Guantanamo Bay or something, said Robert Kennedy. Or whether there's some ship that you know, sink the main again or something. But the question that Jones and other conspiracy theorists tend to ignore is that if the government has been staging mass shootings for years with the sole intent of pushing through strict gun control, why aren't there stricter gun laws? The funny thing is you have these shootings, said Usinski, you have the calls for gun legislation, gun legislation never passes but for some reason everyone thinks these shootings are some trick to pass the legislation. One way to debunk that claim is that it never works. You would think that after Sandy Hook or Aurora shootings in those instances you'd have gun legislation passed because of how horrific they were, but no. So I don't see a lot of reason for people to think this. If the government had the plan to it's an awful plan and that plan continually fails. That's the advantage of the conspiracy theorist. As Usinski writes, conspiracy theories are non-falsifiable. The Alex Joneses of the world can dismiss any evidence that refutes them as disinformation, while the absence of any actual evidence for their imaginary conspiracies demonstrates how hard the government is working to cover it up. You have this government that's on one hand all-powerful, and on the other hand completely inept, on the one hand, it's pulling off mass shootings and blowing up buildings and doing all sorts of terrible stuff and never getting caught, never having to take responsibility for these terrible things they're doing, but on the other hand, they're unable to pass a freaking law.